good day? Nah. I think it's a bad day, Divergence Traders. Bad day. Bad day. But what do we expect, right? It's, it's that special day that comes every four years. And that's why we had the market how we had the market. But there was still setups. There's no divergence setup from down here. Because the right side is bigger than the left. That's right. So, if we just widen it a little bit, make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay. So, there is no divergence down here. This is a two-minute chart. If you look up at the top, two-minute, okay? And, uh, yeah, there's no, there's no divergence trade. However, this is the 930 candle, this big bullish candle. Now, if you bought the dip, okay, right here, as soon as this one closes, you buy on this one, the next one right beside it, boom. You buy it, and up it went, okay? It's a winning trade. It's a, what, what I call a lower close, a buy it, and up it goes. And then we had another one right over here, okay? Right on the opening of this little blue candle. Well, let me make it a little bit bigger so you can see it for sure. Okay. Right here. So you would have bought it right here. And uh, it went up a little bit. But if you held on to it, it went up a long way. Right up to here. Then, got to say then and again and again and again. Here's the next one. If you have the patience to wait for these candles to close and form in the cr correct alignment and the correct alignment is when the the white dotted line which is the five exponential moving average on the close okay is above the seven ema moving average displacement one okay you got that i should just shared it all with you which means when the when the white five ema is above the pink 7 EMA, the only thing that you can do, according to me that is, is wait for the dip, wait for a lower close to enter your trade setup. You can only buy when the 5 is above the 7. And you can only sell when it's below the 7. Is it going to work for you every time? No. No, it's not. See over here? It was like a sell here. What happened? And went back up. And if you had your stop here, they would have got you. See, the five's below the seven again. Now, if you did a trade in here, well, guess what? It didn't do very good. You know, and then it went back up again. Got your stop again. And then it, this is the only one on the short side that actually went a, a little ways down for you. But even this one, you'd be lucky if you only got like five to ten ticks. You don't know. And then it crossed up again. And this time it went a little higher than the high of the day. I think that's the high of the day. I could be wrong. No, that's the high of the day. See what it did all night? Just chopped and went up and down and on the merry-go-round. And yeah, and that's it. You had to be careful to trade those up and down roaming hills. Here, let me bring that over here. Okay. So, it was very crappy. Why? It was election day today. That's why. But if you were here at the correct time to trade, right, between, say, 20 after 9 to 10.30... Well, you did okay. Right here is 10 o'clock, right, right here. When the price was right here, it was 10 o'clock. And you should have been, if you did a trade, you should have bought one of these dips and took your profits somewhere, you know, in, in this rally up. And that's it. And if you kept trading in this shit, well, don't be surprised if, you know, the market handed it to you. 
handed you a pile of shit in your hand, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so that's it for the uh, MNQ. Yeah, we'll just show that one on Ninja today. Let's get back to uh, MetaTrader. Oh, I got to start it again. I had to restart my computer. My computer was going caca. Caca. Just give me a second here. It's loading up. It takes forever. It's made by the Russians. Okay, let me bring this over into the camera view. There we go. Okay. Do we have divergence on the five minute? Well, we might. We just might. So if we take it. No, not from there. <laughs> from here. Is it really going up? Is it? Is it? Is it? It is. See, it's going up. What does that mean? What does that mean, ladies and gentlemen, when it's pointing up on the Osma? It means that there was divergence on the five minute and you would have got long right here on the open or jumped in somewhere and up it went all the way up here. So if you got in, say you got in just right here, you jumped in there and you held it all the way up. Well, it went up 156 points. Ticks. Yeah, points. And on the way, we had a lower close. Where are you? Right here. Lower close, buy it here, and up it goes. Okay? Yeah, it was good. It was good. There was trades there. Let's now look at the S&P 500. Oh, yeah, it had divergence also. Yeah, plain as the eye can see, the divergence was right there. It's a double bottom or a lower low, whatever you want to look at it as, okay? Just like that. And you would have got long right in there like this. And it went up uh, 48 points to the top. But let's, just let me show you what happened along the way up. We had a lower close. Buy it. Up it goes. If you miss this entry here, Okay, say you got in up here on this lower close. You just had to wait like 15 minutes. You would have bought it here and up it went. <clears throat> and how much did it go up? It went up like 23 points. It would have been good. Would have been very good. And there's another one. Let me show you just the next one, which was right here. Not so good. We'll say the next good one was right here. Boom. Buy it, up it goes. Okay? Yeah. Let's look at the Dow now. Was there divergence on the Dow? Oh, you betcha. We have a low and a lower low right to the bottom of the wick of the open. Okay? And you would have got long, okay, right here to up here like this. And you would have got long on this divergent setup right there. So you had time. This is the 930 candle, the baton, with the wick on the top and the bottom. Okay, it gave you five minutes to make up your mind. Well, what do I do? What do I do, Babalu? What do I do? So if you buy it here, you got to realize, well, according to, to my, you know, way of trading divergence, <clears throat> you always got to put your stop loss right down here at the swing low. So it was a huge stop, okay? Yeah, you know, traders who think they can get away with a 10 tick stop and they don't put it in the correct place to begin with, oh, they're just looking to get stopped out. They're just looking to get stopped out. Okay? Because they don't know where to put your put the stop. So anyway, uh if you bought right here, yeah, the stop was uh was 91 points right here. Okay, the stop was down here. Your entry was right here. It would have been a 91 tick stop loss. But did, did it go up 91 ticks and give you 91 ticks? It went up 
322 ticks. So you could have got your 3 to 1 win-loss ratio with max potential snaggage. Yes, snaggage. I don't know if that's a word or not. <laughs> Snag them. My uh, original first trading system I created and sold worldwide to a lot of very happy customers. Um, it was called 4X Pip Snagger because we used to snag pips with it. Yes, indeed. <sighs> yes. Not bragging or conceited, yes. I am known by, I, would, I wouldn't say millions of traders, but at least hundreds of thousands of traders around the world. They know my name. They know me as a trader with Forex mainly. But now I look more so at, uh, you know, the indices, right? See how shitty it got up here? Wow. But anyway, let me show you one one little nice trade along the way. Lower close, buy it up, it goes. Here's another one right here, too. Right here. Lower close, buy it up, it goes. Okay, so let's move on now to the pound dollar. Oh, pound dollar, not good, not good. Not good, guys, not good. Fuck, there's no divergence there. It's just it's just um a, a mess. Let's catch you with your fucking pants down. And that's what they did right here. And then they chopped you up further in here. I'm not even going to put one single fucking mark on that chart. What about the euro? Probably same shit. Yeah, see this this dip down here? It's too big on the right side, too small on the right, the left side. There's no divergence to buy it in here. No, it's just, it's just shit. Pound yen, what did it do? It did more shit. There was a sell-off in the beginning at around 820 or whatever. There was a sell-off on the pound yen. It went down, yeah, about 40, 50 pips. And then looking here, it's just, let's fucking kill you. Let's kill you. Let's kill you. It's election day. You trading with, with the market today? We're going to fucking kill you. We're going to walk all over you. We're going to say, open up your hand and we'll plop some shit in your fucking hand. That's what they did today for election day. <coughs> oh, yeah. Euro yen? Oh, Euro yen looks. Oh, my goodness. We have a very nice, smooth trade on the euro. Can you? Euro yen, the euro yen, the GJ. Okay, we have higher highs. Yeah. And we have lower highs on the Osma. Uh huh. So, what does that mean? It means we're going to sell off. Did it sell off? Yeah. It sold off. See what it got short right in here. Yes, indeed. And it went down uh, 30. Six pips on the euro yen. Euro yen was a good boy today. It gave us two setups. Right here, a low and lower low. Remember those lower lows? When they're right and correct. Yeah, here it is. And this is also looks like a teacup. See, here's the little handle right here. And here's the bottom of the teacup. Right. Now, this was a little tricky. So if you got in long, where would have we got? I wouldn't have got in long here. I would have waited for a retracement. <clears throat> you can see it came all the way back down here close to your stop if you were to put a stop there. But I would wait for it to clear the hell out of here right here. I know. It's in hindsight. I know. Went up 40 pips. <clears throat> <coughs> oh yeah, start talking and the fucking mucus starts coming. Mozi Tabernak. Look at all these fucking uh, lower close candles on the way up on this bitch, eh? Right here, boom. Uh, right here, boom. And right here, boom. And... Right here, boom. 
one, two, three, four lower close candles to buy dips from. You had a lot of opportunity to buy, to buy the dips here today on the on the euro yen, and now they're smacking it back down quickly because they trapped all the longs in here right on the way up, and now they're going after them right here. See that? See how dirty this fucking game is? So dirty. That's why when you see profit, you got to take it. Because like they say, if, if, you, if you don't take it, when you see it, the market will take it back from you. I said that with some pause in between there. The saying is, if you don't take it, the market will. And my old broker... At Aleron Trading, which no longer exists, it was a futures broker, and uh, Tim Hannigan, that's what he used to say to me, he'd say, Jason, if you don't take it, the market will, and he's fucking singing the last part, the market will, and I didn't listen to him, oh no, fuck no, and I would lose. I was in major, I'd be in major profit all the way up, and, he, and up here he'd say, if you don't take it, the market will. <laughs> and sure enough, the greed in me said, no, no, it's going to go higher. It's going to go, it's going to go. I know I can feel it. I can feel it. I'm praying. I know it's going to go higher. Yeah, praying don't work <laughs> in the markets. And hoping, hoping and praying don't work. Neither does gambling or guessing. That doesn't work either. You have to try and avoid, avoid those four things, which is very hard to do. Because the greedy side in you makes you do all these things to lose. It's a crazy thing. It should be like, you know, plain and simple. Buy, it goes up, you take money. Oh, sell, goes down, make money. But it ain't that simple. All these weird things happen in between. I swear there's a devil. Yes. The devil with horns on his head and flames coming out of his fucking backside. They're, they're hexing it. They're, 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 they're putting a fucking curse on it. Like they do in Haiti. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm getting a little weird here, but I'm telling you. If you're a person who does all these trades and you've done it for months or even years and you just keep losing, yeah, you're, you're, you got a fucking, you got a curse on you, man. You got the hex on you. You know what I'm saying? I know you think I'm fucking crazy today, but when you trade 23 years and you see all this fucking shit, then you know. Then you'll know. But anyway, there was some trades in here and if you had made some money, great. If you follow my rule about the five above the seven, hey, you knew that the only thing you could do is buy. Whether you buy a, a rally or you buy a dip, that's the only thing you could do. You couldn't sell. Because if you sold, you got in trouble. Now over here, when it just rolled over, see, and crossed down, this is where you sell because the five is below the seven. See, here's the five. Come on, there's the five, and there's the seven. The five was below the seven. That means you can only do sell trades on the way down. When the five is above the seven, you can only do buy trades on the way up. Yes, okay. I know it sounds like I'm giving you shit, but I'm just telling you the shit, man. It's well, these markets are weird. They're like no other fucking game you ever played in your life. That's why I think they're cursed. I think they're fucking cursed. Okay, let's move on now. What's this? Oil? Yeah, four hour. Oh. Why do I have it on the four hour? Daily? Oh, okay. We're at this resistance right now. I thought maybe we'd make it, be making a new high. No, we're far from that. Okay, let's look on the five minutes. Let's see. Let's see. What do we have? What do we have? Well, we have, we do have a trade. It's hidden divergence right here, down here, to down here. Oh, no, you're not going to do that. Oh, oh, no, no, it's right here right here yeah see this one going down this one going up 
That is hidden divergence. Excuse me, more fucking mucus is coming up. Jesus, it's unreal. Um, yeah, so the entry point would have been somewhere in here. Somewhere in the middle, you would have caught it as it was shooting up, or you would have waited for the close and bought the next candle, and it would have went up here. Um, look at here's a pullback right here. You would think there's hidden divergence here also, but it isn't because this side needs to be less than this side. See, just like we drew this up here like this, this one too, we need to draw it up like this, and we don't have that opportunity because this side, it's lower. So there's no divergence to buy in here. However, we do have the five crossing up above the seven. You could have bought right here this little uh, lower close dip. You would have bought it here and up it went. And here's another one you could have bought right in here and it would have went up. So you could have bought all these dips all the way up on the oil. But in reality, oil did not go far today. It only went like 60, 60, 60 ticks to there. It was shitty today, just like uh, everything else. Okay, this is gold. Okay, gold. Gold gave us a trade. I can't believe it. It's right here. Did we have a... I think we had a, another one down there, too. Okay, hold on. There it is there. Higher highs. Remember those higher highs. And what about down here? Well, we got to squish the chart here to see. Yeah, basically we had a, a double bottom right there, like that. And this one is in alignment, see, right here. And we would have got long right there. There's divergence here too at the beginning of the UK session right here. It was hidden divergence. Let me show. I have to show you. Right here like this. And right here like this. There it is. And you would have got long right in there. It went up uh, 90. Wow. It went up 90 points or ticks. And then... Was there a divergence here? No, no, there wasn't divergence from these two highs. Okay, yeah, right here. So we had these two trades. Is that another one over here? Come on. Yeah. We had this one in the UK session. It was a buy. It was hidden divergence. See the hidden divergence? Yeah, it was a, it was a good one. 90 point stretch. Then we had a double bottom and we had a buy here. And this one went up 60 points to here. And then we had higher highs and we sold it here. And uh, yeah, it went down 120 points to the bottom. And that's it for... Um, gold. That was gold, ladies and gentlemen. Gold. Gold was good today. It was golden. Okay. And that's it for all the markets that, that move for today. And my phone just sang a little song. Doo-dah, doo-dah. Anyway. Um, what did Bitcoin do? Oh, it's on its way back up. Sure did pull back there, eh? Yeah. 700 whatever ticks or points on the, yeah, on that. And XRP, it went up just just a teensy, teensy bit. Yeah, we need, we need, uh, <laughs> we need Don to come into the picture, hopefully, and say something good, or I don't know, and the sucker to go to 100 bucks, and then life will be good. Okay. I'm dreaming. It'll probably go to zero. 
Okay, and here's silver. It's trying to go back up. Ethereum. Yeah, it's trying to go back up. And the US dollar yen. Oh, look, look. They want to sell it down. Maybe my prediction to go back up here is wrong. I don't know. <coughs> anyway, that is it for today. Ladies and gents, let's go to the gold chart here. Where are you? Right here. Had the good trades on there. There. See the good trades on there? Two buys and a sell, baby. Oh, yeah. So anyway, I want to thank you for coming out today, you know, driving all the way out here in your car and, yeah, and going down the freeway and making it, you know, here alive to watch the show. So I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please hit the like button if you like it. And uh, that's it for today. Have a great afternoon. Be careful. It's still, you know, election day today. So be careful, okay? Okay. Good luck and good trading.